sorry people and more people are going to die because you guys didn't do the right thing. Outrage in Brooklyn Center tonight after the city council voted against changing the way police make traffic stops. The push for those changes started years ago with the death of Dante Wright. A Brooklyn Center police officer shot Wright during a traffic stop back in 2021. WCCO's David Schumann is here with the impact tonight's decision is having on members of the community. Hi there, David. Hi, Amelia. There was so much raw emotion tonight, sadness and anger and frankly shock from many people in Brooklyn Center who now have to start over after dedicating themselves for a long time to fighting for these police reforms. Motion fails. Katie Wright abruptly left the room in tears, but she came back to speak directly to the Brooklyn Center City Council. You guys are some sorry people. The city council Monday voted against a police department policy change that would have no longer allowed cops to pull people over for low level violations. Wright's son, Dante, was pulled over for expired tabs in 2021 when former officer Kim Potter mistook her gun for her taser and shot and killed him. Katie Wright had a say in shaping the new proposed policy. Still, she told us before the meeting she felt anxious. You just want to make sure that no other parent has to go through the pain that you've went through. And if these policies were in place when my son was killed, he would still be alive today. I truly believe that. One of the three council members who voted no told us she'd looked at the research, listened to her constituents, and stood by her vote. Brooklyn Center's mayor supported the changes. The recommendations we see before us today are the result of hours of research, many, many courageous conversations with community, staff, council, and a willingness to step into uncomfortable spaces and dialogue with people that we may not have in the past. In the end, she held Katie Wright as she cried. The move to no longer pull over drivers for low impact offenses has been adopted in Minneapolis and St. Paul. St. Paul leaders have said violent crime hasn't gone up and racial disparities in traffic stops have gone down. All right. Thank you, David. Kim Potter, the officer who killed Dante Wright, was sentenced to two years for manslaughter. Potter finished her sentence last month while on supervised release. WCCO will keep you updated on what's next for the city of Brooklyn Center.